epigenetics, I encourage people to look into Dr. Bruce Lipton's work because it's revolutionary in that it reminds us of the truth of Einstein's work, which is simply put, the field directly affects the particle. The field, what you think, directly affects your cellular function. And the studies are proving this more and more every single day. It's a study they did on the brain and thought life and how negative thinking actually shrinks the brain, biologically speaking. We know that to be true because when someone slithers into our energy field dumping, who's ever dumped before? Any dumpers out here? Who dumped? We got some dumpers. And who's ever, who's ever been a dumpy or a dumper? That's pretty much everyone. Either dumping or you're dumpy. Dumper or dumpy. This is the experience that shrinks the brain. You can feel it when someone's dumping in your world. So in order to tune into what's possible, this is, this is getting rid of the negative. There's, there's, in my third book, Release the Stress Around Breast Cancer, with methods and mantras for the mastectomies of life. There's a chapter in there called Pruning for Growth. And so after my experience this week with, with a specific human being, I said to myself, thank you, God, that I'm never left empty-handed with good material to practice in my own life. Pruning for growth. Pruning for growth. Mm -hmm. Another prayer that's very powerful to pray on a daily basis is, Dear God, release my desire to be liked. Release my desire to be liked. Because if I am released from my desire to be seen, acknowledged, recognized, applauded, liked, I'm free. I return to that, that free nature that I once experienced when I was in kindergarten. You want to be my friend? No? Okay. Do you want to be my friend? Sure. I'll play with you for five minutes and then I'm playing with Timmy. Okay. That sounds good. There's no residue. No residue. So we have more room to create and tune into the world again. It's full of possibilities.